Hello, I'm Richard Fearless, and this is my studio, The Metal Box. Um, so this, this equipment that I've got here is pretty much what I have uh, been using um, for the last three decades. <laughs> um, Juno 101, 909, SQ10, MS20, 606, 202, 303, the Moog, the SH09. Um, that equipment's been my, my staple. I've added a few more pieces of, well, I've got more outboard gear and things, but that's pretty much um, what I've been using um, since the Contino sessions, really. Um, everything in the studio is running live. Um, so it's all running live. The sync box is this Acme 4, which I use. Um, and then I run everything through my console. There's a patch bay here, so anything I want, it's a MIDI patch bay as well. So anything in the studio can be kind of like patched up. So I can have any kind of um, sequence of, of machines running together. Um, but also what I use, I use this Fulcrum, Fulcrum sorry, passive uh, summing mixer. So once I've kind of processed my songs, I sum it all through these Neves and this uh, BA compressor. And, and that's pretty much, um, pretty much the main crutch of, of the studio. The tape delays are all running live. I use different, different tape delays for different, I mainly use, I use the Space Echo, well, pretty much for, you know, they've, e they've each got their own sounds. You know, the, the echo plex is very gnarly and I keep the tapes old and I kind of, I like the kind of, I, I, I like the kind of fucked up sound of the tape, to be honest. So I, I use old tapes on that. The space echo, I constantly kind of um, uh, maintain. So that involves like re-rubberizing the wheels, de um, um, magnetizing the heads and, and, and that all adds to a kind of clean, cleaner sound for the Space Echo. So they, they need a lot of love, but this system of being able to kind of access them and slide them in and out really helps. The Echo Let I'm getting rid of, but I, at the moment I just use it to drive things. So I kind of like hi-hats and things like that. I kind of like overdrive it and use it for that, but that beast is going to get changed. Um, and yeah, and this is my outboard gear, which I pretty much use for everything. I've got the Sans Amp for my distortion, two Effectrons, the uh, Eventide H3500, my sequencer, and my Lexicon, which I only got for the last, I got this for Deep Rave Memory, the Lexicon. I've never had a kind of standalone reverb unit, and reverb something I kind of didn't really use, weirdly. I always kind of saw it as a bit of a cop out, but I kind of got this and I've just absolutely fell in love with it. And a big part of Future Rave Memory, my last record, is the 303 and the Lexicon together. Um, and um, yeah, so the studio really is, the, is running off the three sequences, the, the SQ10, the 202, and the uh, SAM16 sequencer. And they're the kind of like the brains where I do most of the writing with the sequences.